For your reference, these are the parts of a rifle case. This video will familiarize you with the correct process for reloading a rifle cartridge. First, inspect the case to ensure all cases are safe to reload. Look for cracks, dents, abrasions, primer pockets that are expanded, or other abnormalities. During inspection, wipe the cases down to remove dirt, grit, and residue to prevent scratching the inside of the dies. Putting the cases into a case tumbler prior to inspection will also clean them sufficiently. Once clean, sort the cases and segregate them by manufacturer as indicated on the case head stamp. Lubricate the case to prevent it from sticking in the sizing die. When fired, the case expands to seal the chamber, forcing the expanding gases and bullet forward through the barrel. Because of this expansion, the case may no longer fit into a chamber without bringing it back to its proper size. Place the lubricated case into the shell holder and run the handle fully to the bottom of its stroke. At the bottom of the stroke, the used primer will be ejected by the sizing die. Place a new primer into the primer cup, lower the case fully, and put a gentle backward pressure on the handle of the press to seat the new primer into the primer pocket of the case. The case has now been primed, resized, and is ready to be charged with powder. Select an appropriate load for the particular case from the Hodgdon Reloading Data Center and preset the powder measure. Drop the powder charge into the case and pour the first charge into the scale pan. Note that the powder charge is correct and pour the powder charge back into the case. The charged case is now ready to be moved to the next step in the process. Remove the sizing die from the press and install the pre-adjusted seating die, which will seat the bullet into the case. With the case in the shell holder, place a bullet in the mouth of the case and raise it fully into the seating die by lowering the handle of the press to the bottom of its stroke. The bullet should be seated to the correct length as shown on the Hodgdon Reloading Data Center and the loaded round is complete.